Will you please welcome the lovely and talented Ava Mendez? <laughs> Well, Ava, it's lovely yes. to have you here. Thank you. I'm very excited to be you're, here. You're looking very well. You're looking very healthy. Thank you. You're looking very trim. <laughs> Do you exercise? Do you work out? I, um... Travelling like this, you must be away from your gymnasium and equipment. <laughs> and in danger of putting on the flab. Um, <laughs> I happen to have with me the abdominal device, which is free to all guests this evening to use. Can I see you do it one more time and Come then on, let, yeah. me okay. let me see you do it. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> that is idiotic. Arch your back. Arch your back. And I'm in my late twenties. You fancy go over? Definitely not doing Ava, that. Ava, I wasn't going to... That was ridiculous. Ava, I wasn't going to watch you from behind. I had a newspaper. I was going to read the newspaper while you were doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Happening. That's one YouTube clip we won't be seeing there. No. Uh, how lovely to have you here. Now, let, let me ask you about your family and uh, your background. You, uh, you were born in America, is that right? Yes. But your parents, are they from Cuba? Yeah, my parents are Cuban. Wow. And I was the only one in my family born in the States. So the other, your other brothers and sisters, you have, is it three or four siblings? I have two sisters and a brother. Okay. So they were born in Cuba? They were all born in Cuba, wow, yes. exciting. So uh, what do the rest of your family do? Uh, are you the only performer in the family? Is anyone else acting? Well, I'm the only else performer that gets paid for performing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but does anyone else do acting or anything like that? No, no, they're, they're, they're characters, but okay. no, they, they don't. And so uh, was it always in the cards for you, or did you, I mean, did you show talent early? What happened? Um, actually, when I was really little, I was like a really prude little girl, actually. Well, I guess it's good to be a prude little girl, because... Yeah. It might be <laughs> yeah. anything else. Like, yeah, something else. Like, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. No, but I was. I was really uptight and like um, from the ages of like when I was five years old, I told my mother that I wanted to be a nun. And we weren't really religious or anything, but I just thought I want to be a nun and so serve what was it God. About, what was it? It was just the, the Well, I don't know. I was I was five, I don't really remember, but I remember wanting to be a nun. And then I grew up, you know, we didn't grow up poor certainly, but lower middle class, so a lot of bills piling up, and right. I saw my mother worry quite often about money. So I'd always promise her that I was gonna pay her bills and buy her a big house when I was older. And when I was about eight or nine, my sister, my older sister said, they call me Evie, she's like, Evie, you know, how are you going to do all this stuff for mom? You know, nuns don't get paid. And I went, what? <laughs> I was like, nuns don't get paid? That's and a, that, that was it. That is quite a shoulder like thinking nuns were rolling in the cash there. Like, <laughs> what do you know doing? Hiding it under their habits or something. It was like, they take that off and it's all dollar bills all the way inside. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling it wouldn't have worked out But then anyway, again, you know, though. God's loss is our gain, because, of course, we get to see you in the movies. <laughs> Do you find, uh, like I have occasionally, that being exceptionally good-looking can hold you back in some way? <laughs> For example, you get offered only certain parts. I mean, obviously, that's a bit of a joke. But, um, you know, you get, you know, you're seen as this beautiful uh, woman on screen, and, and maybe you don't get the serious roles. Is that the case? I'm not seeing you um, in serious films, but... No, I think that's up to me and how I choose to conduct myself and how far I go, you know, like, as far as, like, how how much I really want to stretch myself in my craft. And, like, I still, I still go to acting school and, you know, I'm always ready and willing to, like, just do something offbeat as far as a role or take a chance. They don't come that often, and that's why I produce my own stuff as well and oh, stuff yeah. like that. But I think that's all in your control. Like, and I think I'm pretty unconventional. I think I can be as pretty as I am ugly, kind of... I. Not ugly, but you know what I mean? Like, I think I'm unconventional, and I kind of work that sometimes, so. So, so well, you mean you can sometimes not glam it up? You yeah, don't exactly. Always, yeah, 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 yeah. I have big teeth and got a strong nose. Yeah. I don't know. I can kind of make myself not as yeah, cute. Yeah, I can see everyone's thinking, yeah, she's ugly. You know, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I but I can, I can play it up or play it down. Right, so you can, you, you know can, what I mean? Yeah, you can scrub yourself off a bit and uh, whatever. Uh, I never said I could scrub <laughs> myself off. No, that was <laughs> No, that's not a euphemism for anything. That is very I mean, strange. I mean, like, when you're polished up and then you scrub off the makeup. I, was like, oh, I didn't mean yeah, like... Sure. I didn't mean anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> if I would say that to someone who was nearly a nun. 
Um, let me ask you about the modelling work, you know, because I didn't know whether you'd come to your career via modelling or whether that had come as a byproduct of being in movies, but I guess that's the case. You've been in films and what exactly. was the first modelling campaign you did? What was the first modelling uh, piece of work that came your way? Gosh, I, 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 think, it's, I think it's Calvin Klein. I, I had a makeup contract um, early on, but, uh, you know, Calvin Klein is the thing I'm most proud of. And, wow. And yeah, that's the, that's the biggest, new one. Yeah, that's pretty big. We're going to show you some pictures of that. And here we go. Uh, and these are these are some uh, hot and steamy pictures. I don't think we've seen them. Have they been used over here yet? Do you know? Have they been in magazines? Have you seen them? Yeah, I haven't seen them yet. I guess they'll be on posters and uh, in magazines here. Uh, and this looks like it was uh, fun to shoot, I imagine, because you had, there's a very good-looking fellow in here with you. Oh, here yeah. Look at, that. He's, he's look at Ava there. Wow, that's uh, hot and sultry. Yeah, that's Jamie Dornan. He's uh, an, an actor and a really incredibly gorgeous looking guy yep. I'll, yes I'll look at him in a minute <laughs> uh, and, uh, what, what, what are you wearing there you're wearing jeans on the bottom on the top are you oiled up what have they done have I am oiled? I'm actually uh, they doused us with uh, oil there you are. yeah oil. what kind of oil is that like a cooking oil or a suntan oil <laughs> it's like a, like a baby oil a of baby sorts oil. yes I can almost smell it ah. <laughs> Uh, and the jeans, these are, these are, believe it or not, even though you, you know, the, I mean, look, you, you've got a, such a lovely face there. What jeans are they? These are special jeans that are meant to enhance parts well, of yes, your body. Well, yes, these are actually, it's called body jeans, and they're really amazing because for the women, they kind of give us that little extra lift we need on the backside, and they kind of, you know, push and suck things up and in. Ho, 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 like that. Okay, <laughs> and then... <laughs> And for the male, listen up, for the male jeans, they're actually uh, enhancing jeans. Yes? You mean... Mm-hmm. <laughs> but why would uh, that be a good thing? Because for ladies, surely you're being fooled because what's in the shop window isn't actually for sale. <laughs> well, but we fool you guys all the time, so why not... Don't do tell us that! Oh, come on, the heels. Yeah, the chicken fillets. Makeup, the that. chicken fillets. You know the chicken fillets? <laughs> do you not call them the chicken fillets in America? What do you call them in America? The you chicken know the, fillets, Where's yeah. the chicken fillets? Don't say I haven't seen I them. I just didn't expect I, to. I tried to cook one once. I thought it was actually a piece of chicken. <laughs> I put it in the wok. I was trying to stir fry it up. It tasted OK. Ah. <laughs> but way back when, early, you, did a, you were in a couple of pop videos as well, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did one with Will Smith, didn't you? Yes, I did. So when you then worked with Will in Hitch later on, did he say, wow, I remember you, you were in that video we did years ago for Miami? And... Nope. Oh, <laughs> I went into that meeting, you know, I, I, they were like, Will Smith wants to meet you, he loved your work in whatever, and he wants to sit down with you. And I thought, oh, great, I will totally have something on these other girls because I've worked with him before. Yeah, yeah. I was in his music video. So I go in and I see him and I'm like, hi. You know, and he's just like, hi, hi. you know. <laughs> and I'm like, so how you been, you know? <laughs> and just no clue. Absolutely no clue. Um, but, you know. I, yeah, just no clue which we was, have the yeah, clip of uh, we no, have the clip don't. here Shut of up. Ava Mendes no, in this studio. Yeah, no, we do. Uh, you if don't? you don't know which one she is, look out for the nun in the background. <laughs> when was this uh, film? This is, <laughs> this is my first year of okay. acting. This because was, uh, eleven years ago. Because you didn't you you were asked to be in a few rap and hip hop type things and you and you oh, said oh yes I I was I um. I did two videos. My first time on camera ever was doing a, a music video for Aerosmith, and then I did a Will Smith video, and you know, uh, there was one video that, you know, when you're first starting out, like your first year, you're just desperate for work and yeah. you need to pay the rent and you're no longer at mom's house. So I was going out for videos and stuff like that. So I go out for this one rap video and I will not say the name of this certain rapper because I'm not, but just, I'm not saying it, this it, to me. Is he still rapping today? Yeah. Uh -huh. He is still rapping today. Uh -huh. Is he still a popular rapper today? Mm, yeah. Is he? Uh, is he? Uh, he's an American rapper, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is he? Has he got the words fifty and cent in his name? No. Uh -uh. Does he have the words jar and rule in his name? No. Uh -huh. Okay. So anyway, so I'm there. Right? So, so I'm, I go and, and 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 you know they said oh they want you for this rap video and da da, da and I said okay but I have two rules, no bikinis yes. and no. Gyrating or dancing like exotically. Yes. Well, they're I don't pretty, do they're that. good rules stuff because they have those ladies in the background sometimes who are doing all the boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you said no bikinis, well, no. I said nothing. no bikinis and no gyrating. They're like, yeah, absolutely, just, you know, show up on set and, you know, completely don't worry about it. We're taking care of you. 
So I go to set, and um, there's a holding suite for a couple of the girls. It's me and like two other girls or something. There's a holding suite, and I go into the holding suite, and I'm like, "Where's our wardrobe?" And they're like, "Don't worry, relax. It'll be a while." So, finally, I, I I leave the holding suite, and I go to the wardrobe room, and I said, "Can I just see what I'm gonna wear? I just really need to know." So, well. They show it to me, and technically it's not a bikini because it has like sequins all over it, so you can't go in the water with it, but it's basically a bra and underwear. And I thought, I can't do this. I said I wouldn't do this, and the, you know, integrity, yet I have to pay bills, integrity, what, okay? And then, so I take my sequins bikini, underwear and bra thing, and I'm like, all right, maybe I'll just try it on and see what happens. So I'm on my way back to my holding suite, and I see a sign on the door that I didn't see before that says, holding suite for cash, money, hoes. <laughs> and presumably you weren't the, the cash or the money in the, in the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so they could have just said, so was there someone dressed as cash and money? <laughs> <laughs> or was that just to fool everyone? I don't know. So you were going to be a... Uh, yes. In the, that's what, oh. So I walked. I, I took my blame. dignity and I walked. And I hope you took the swimwear as well. No, I love yeah, that. Cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, who was that? Were you meant to be driving? Or was so when driving? did you start dyeing that thing? Dyeing that thing! Now, Ava, what do you do to unwind? What are your hobbies? Um, I tried taking up bongo lessons. <laughs> Any good? I'm pretty good. Pretty good? But uh, I'm not that good. Good. Yeah, there is a rhythm, there is a language of the bongo. I'm just kidding, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm not good! Ava, here's what we're going to ask Ava. Ava. Yes. Here's the deal. Yeah. It's bongo. Yes. Or it's abs. <laughs> oh, that is cruel. Yeah. That's yeah. a mean, you're a mean but man. But if you do abs, I'll keep with them with a... I don't even know what I would do. Like, I, I really We've been don't lessons. know. How long I'm terrible lessons at this. Okay. I don't I've got, really know I've got what I'm doing. I've got smaller ones if you want. Oh, jeez. Well, oh. like, can Whoa. we, like, thanks, okay. Oh, wait, no, you're throwing me off. Never mind. <laughs> no, you see, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, can you imagine living with that? Imagine what it'd be like. That was great, and you were bullied into it. Ava. Oh, how lovely to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree, Thank a lovely, you. charming guest, Ava Mendez. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was so fun. That was fun. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you.